My name is Eunice Kingenga. I'm an IT lecturer at Edivos. I lecture um, database related modules and uh, I've been there for three years. The experience of meeting new students every year, new people, people, students with different uh, backgrounds and different personalities and also being a witness to how they transform. Some come without knowing anything and you see at the end they are this good uh, student with skills that you know that you have actually contributed to the change, to the transformation. So that really makes me happy. I would say uh, there are quite a good number of uh, female students, but in com if I had to compare with commerce, for example, they are more uh, girl students in commerce than in IT, but uh, it's equally represented. In terms of also the number of students we receive in IT, they are equally represented, I would say that. I believe it's uh, possibly the ex exposure and the maybe uh, the perception that IT is difficult, that uh, I might not find my way in there, but yeah, I think that would be the main reason. Just people not really trying and maybe not being exposed to knowing the possibility that I'm, I'm as a girl, I can excel in IT. So that's mainly what I can say. Not having that um, that that um, uh, that interaction, you know, when you talk to students, you expect them to reply to something, you ask a question, you want them to give you feedback. With the pandemic, it was like, when if even if you ask your student to turn on the videos or the, to chat somewhere, they wouldn't really react exactly the same way as we used to do in a face-to-face -face interaction. So that was really a big. Uh, a big problem because you have to call the names. Some people, some of some of them will not even. You just see the names and you don't even know if they are really there. So it's just like the names and the interaction part. It was that's the main piece that was missing. So what I can tell them is just to uh, it's uh, um, to be confident in themselves, to uh, conquer the world. It's the time they can think beyond what they have learned. I think they have received everything that they need as a foundation, and now they just have to go and uh, apply if they found something they can apply it to, or create if they don't find something where they can apply it to. So that's what I can 